What's up, guys? We're on. Just wanted to uh, make another video here. There's been a few things going on in, uh, on the internet and some some talk. You know, uh, most important thing I wanted to, uh, you know, bring up was uh, Nancy Pelosi's plan to um, to assume the presidency. You know, and when I first heard about this, it was through Infowars. You know, conspiracy theories, huh? You know what? The, you know everybody conspiracy theories this and trying to dismiss Alex Jones, but you know what? He's ahead of the game. He just dropped a bombshell. I don't know about two days ago, and um, I just started a few. Uh, two other people were starting to cover it, and. Uh, well, what it is, is there's a list of people that if the president was ever to go down, the vice president would be there to take his place. And if they were both ended up, you know, going down, you know, for anything, which I know they're not, you know, then they're good people. Um, Pelosi, House of Representatives, House of Representatives. Uh, the, the Speaker of the House is up for the presidency. She's the third one in line. And can you imagine what was what I was told was I'm not sure uh, how long they've known this, but they brought it to the attention of the American people, and I think this is very important. Um, their plan is to remove Trump and Pence which puts Pelosi in the spot how are they going how they're going to remove uh, them is is unclear you know um, and the reason why Trump grounded her plane I think was you know is because of you know he found this out so anyhow make a long story short can you imagine if Pelosi was fucking president you know and Supposedly, she was, I don't know how this works, but if she was going to nominate a vice president, it would be Hillary Clinton. And then the deal is to, for Pelosi to step down. Can you imagine? And with this trip from Pelosi and she had some Congress members with Adam Schiff and a couple of other scumbags, they were going to take off to Brussels, which is the head of the UN. Um, and... They did a similar move right before JFK was assassinated. Use your heads, people, you know? This is fucking crazy. You know, I can't believe this shit. You know, I'm just sitting in my truck, man. The fucking, my truck's overheating. Ah, it's just another added bonus, you know? I wanted to bring up, uh, you know, these points, though, man, because it fucking drives me insane. Like, nobody sees this shit. Nobody's covering this stuff. It's like, people need to wake up, man. You know, it's, uh, you know, if they, if that's not important, I don't know what is. It, it's certainly not uh, AOC, the fucking lunatic socialist, you know, uh, even though they cover every, uh, every sneeze she makes, you know. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the positivity in life, man, you know. Um, you know, it's just... Trump's positive. He's trying to stay positive. He's trying to keep the country positive. And, you know, and I try to stay positive. You know, every day I wake up, I thank I thank God, you know, Trump's in office, taking care of us. You know, he's the best person for the job. People say, he's a businessman. Oh, you know, uh, you know what does he know about the presidency? What the fuck did Barack Obama know about the fucking presidency? Some douchebag from Kenya, Barry Santoro, from, you know, half Kenyan or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? He, he doesn't belong, that, that whole presidency was illegal, if you ask me, I don't fucking like any bit of it. It stunk to high heaven, everything about it, you know, and all this shit with his birth certificate and his cover-ups, they can fabricate anything they want, make fake licenses, IDs, the CIA is, is capable of anything. With a black budget and the corruptness that runs miles deep, it's just, you know, there's no ending to it. And, uh... Everybody that's, you know, 
on the Trump train is, for the most part, positive, you know, that I can see, and, and, you know, we have morals, and we have good judgment, and we have characteristics that make up the family that are, you know, that are uh, loyal to the, Amer- you know, loyal to us as humans, loyal to the way of life, um, you know, there's rules and in, in, in ways to go about things that, that are successful, and there's ways to go about things that, the reason why they're set up in that order is because they work correctly in that order and the people want to just rip this document up which is the constitution rip it up and then throw it out and try to start all over and try to forget history and this and this that and the other taking down statues and the whole nine trying to fucking kill us off if you people don't fucking understand what the fuck we're up against man we need to fucking get these people bring back the guillotine fucking start lopping heads off man liars everybody be swinging every one of them congress uh Men and women, we'd be all swinging from their necks. If you ask me, it's what the need. It's what the, what needs to happen. This is what Trump needs to do. Trump needs to fucking drop the fucking hammer on these crooked scumbags, and put an end to all of it once and for all. You know, it's it's just not happening soon enough for me. You know, and I know everybody can, everybody else out there, they can feel my pain. You know, and 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 what what drives me nuts too is the negativity uh, of the people that don't like Trump. You know, or and they can't just. I, I say, okay. They don't like Trump for whatever reason. I mean, obviously, it's the fucking the the mainstream news that has got them thinking that way. Because if you look at the accomplishments of Donald Trump since 2016, since he got inaugurated, number one, right off the rip, I believe it was number one. Anyhow, the fucking he he did the the uh, the, the pipeline for the oil. Just in case you people that hate Trump, why don't you look at the gas prices right now and tell me that you don't like Trump. Tell me that those gas prices aren't satisfying and they're not double of what what it used to be back in 2009, 10 or whatever when that scumbag, you know, dickhead, friggin' half-breed loser was in office, you know? Right off the rip, right there. Never mind the rest of the accomplishments he's done. Cut regulation. That regulation... Those regulations go so deep, and it's just it just freed the chains from the working man, you know, and the, the people that own businesses and stuff. It's just giving them a finally a chance to breathe and spread their wings and actually be successful, you know. Uh, he built, uh, he changed the embassy over to in in Jerusalem, you know. That's important to some people. For I guess they've been trying to do it forever. That's just another plus right off the rip. Uh, you know, he's for the farmers. He's for the American people. He's for the the good people of this country. The the people that founded this country. This country was not. It was founded on settlers. You know, uh, that that were leaving oppression. The people that are coming in now. Some are, le- are leaving oppression, but they're coming for the benefits of the country. You know, they're not coming for the. You know, to try to make America better. They're trying to drag everybody along with them. You see these pot-bellied friggin' Mexican broads with like four or five kids all ratty looking coming over. They look like they're just disgusting people. They're dirty, poverty-stricken immigrants that, that are just bottom of the barrel, just shit, you know? And they're throwing rocks at our, uh, at the ICE agents and, and rocks at the Border Patrol agents. I mean, do we really want these people in this country? I mean, come on. It's a fucking, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Build the goddamn wall. Oh, what another thing, I real quick, right, like, about these Democrats. They want to, oh, uh, just open the government back up and we'll discuss something. When the government was open, you didn't want to discuss something. You didn't want to discuss anything with Trump. He's more rational than you people could ever dream of being. On his worst day, he's a thousand times better than anybody there combined. You know what I'm saying? You know, I am a Trump supporter. You're goddamn right. Trump 2020, baby. You know, and then some. We need Trump for the, you know, until he's 100. Please, you know. This is crazy. <sighs> Man, you know, uh, yeah, fire the government back up. And what, just to pay the, the mutts and the crybabies, you know, not all of them, you know, because I, I do have family members that work for the government. But she's a Democrat and she's a lunatic. She works up at, uh, SeaTac up in uh, Seattle. Lunatic. Can't stand Trump. Oh, I wish somebody would put a bullet in his head. Blah, blah, blah. You wish somebody would put a bullet in his head. The fucking best president fucking ever. The best president ever. That's right. Ever. Put everybody 
He stomped every single president in the United States in the hole. Stomped on him. Made him look like fools. The amount of shit that man has done for this country has been, you know, is mind-blowing. You know, and you people get the nerve to hate this man. You know, he is kicking ass in every single chapter known to man. You know, he's done everything for everybody. You know, it, racist. He's not racist. There's nothing racist about the guy. What have you seen that he said that's been racist? You know, oh, he's, he's, AOC says he's starving people. How's he starving people? By putting, you know, he, he just hooked up the whole team with, uh, with uh, cheeseburgers and hamburgers and french fries and this and that, chicken sandwiches, Big Macs, the whole nine yards, man. Fucking loading up the, the guys, you know what I mean? It's not starving people. He's giving more money to aid for all, any, any of these states than anybody that, you know, more than anybody. Snap your fingers, man. Bang. They know, you know, it's there. They're trying to overwhelm them with all this weather technology and shit. And they're trying to make, you know, just, they're trying to just break us in every, any, any way possible. You know, trying to crash the stock market, crash the housing market, uh, increase the fucking, uh, I can't even think. I got so much shit on my plate, man. I, I can't even think. Just, they're just trying to, you know, the, uh, you know, make the dollar worth nothing. You know, it's just, they're just trying to do everything in their power. You know, another thing uh, Trump did too was, uh, God damn it, drew a, you know, years I've been working, right? I've been, I've been working, doing things, landscaping, uh, mechanic work, drywall, electrical. I've done, I've done electrical now, but, but uh, you know, making a, you know, doing, doing a ton of anything I can do. Roofing. I help my buddies do this. If somebody's got side work, I'm all over it. If somebody's got work to last me for five months, I'll do it. If I'm available, you know, uh, I've just been there, done that, and, and I've been everywhere. I've seen a lot of shit. I know a lot of people, and everybody. I see these idiots. You know, 